The more the infantry and all the arms rely on gunners, the tougher the fighting is and the longer the war lasts, so your will to live will be your most powerful weapon. While air power, precision-guided weapons, and missiles frequently get all the attention on the modern battlefield, cannon artillery nevertheless plays a crucial part in today's conflict by acting as the infantry soldier's only constant all-weather support. To combat threats and complete missions, a new generation of artillery systems is emerging in the 21st century. These systems' mobility, firepower, automation, and protective capacities considerably outweigh those of their forerunners. Archer FH-77 After company trials, the first driving and shooting rig was transferred to the Swedish Army for six months of soldier trials. It was finished late in 1995. In October 2011, the delivery of the first operational systems is anticipated, and production will continue over the ensuing two years. In response to the U.S. Army's request for proposals for a 155mm wheeled gun system in October 2020, BAE Systems offers its Archer 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzer. Swedish Foreign Affairs Minister Ann Lind stated on August 29, 2022, that Sweden is considering the potential of supplying Ukraine with Archer 155mm wheeled self-propelled howitzers. To support ground troops, the long-range Archer self-propelled howitzer from BAE Systems delivers crucial speed, mobility, and high fire rates. From the moment the operators get an order for fire, Archer stops, positions itself for action, and fires its first round in less than 30 seconds. After the mission is finished, Archer is back in action in less than 30 seconds. The Archer system has been specifically designed for mobility in the most challenging terrain, with a road speed of up to 45 miles per hour, 70 kilometers an hour. With normal 155 millimeter ammunition, rounds may be fired up to 40 km away, and 60 km away with precision-guided munitions like the Excalibur. Archer has 21 full rounds of fully automated magazines that can be fired off in 2.5 minutes. From the protection of the armored cabin on Archer, operators manage the whole weapons system. The cabin has four workstations, however, only one person is needed to operate the system. The driver, gun operator, and gun commander make up a typical Archer crew. The entire system can be flown on planes like the C-17 and A-400M Atlas, for example. The vehicle is built on a modified version of the Volvo A30D-66 all-terrain hauler. The engine compartment and the cabin of the vehicle are both fully armored, and the cab has windows that are both shatter and bulletproof. There is room for four people in the cabin. Three or four crew members control the howitzer. The cabin has a circular roof hatch and doors on each side. The weapon has a muzzle velocity radar, an inertial navigation system, and a fire control system. The computerized fire control system on board receives data from the radar through download. Although there are other remote weapon stations on the market, Archer can use them. On the roof of the cab is a remote weapon system with a 7.62mm general purpose machine gun and a day and night sight. The Lemur series of gyro-stabilized, fragment-protected electro-optical sights and remotely controlled RC weapons systems have been created by BAE Systems Bofors. The armor-protected cabin allows for the sight and firing of the Lemur machine gun. The vehicle is equipped with a fully automatic magazine that holds 20 155mm rounds and a spare 20 projectiles for reloading. NATO Modular Charges or BOFAR's Uniflex 2 Modular Charges are both compatible with the howitzer. The gun system's ability to deliver multiple rounds simultaneously impacts MRSI, and have good range overlap between increments is increased because of the modular charge mechanism. The range is 35 kilometers with BAE Bofors and extra bonus rounds. With the help of the precisely guided Raytheon Bofors XM982 Excalibur round, the gun's range can be increased to 60 km. A GPS guidance system corrects the Excalibur shell in flight towards a pre-planned trajectory. High levels of tactical, operational, and strategic mobility are features of the system. The vehicle can travel of speeds of up to 70 kmh on the road, can travel in snow up to a depth of 100 centimeters, can be transported by rail, and can be flown in the brand new A400M aircraft. 
The rear of the chassis is equipped with a sizable stabilizer that is hydraulically lowered while the vehicle is in the chosen firing position. Ranges for gun elevation and traverse are 0 degrees to plus 70 degrees and negative 75 degrees to plus 75 degrees respectively. Both the first deployment and the second deployment takes less than a minute. The howitzer fires at a rate of 75 rounds per hour continuously, 20 rounds or a complete magazine, intensely in 2.5 minutes, in 3 round salvo style in 15 seconds. Up to 6 bullets can impact simultaneously under the MRSI capability. The Swedish Army acquired its first four FH-77 BWL-52 Archer systems from pre-production on September 23, 2013 and the first weapons went into service on February 1, 2016. In December 2013, the Norwegian government withdrew from the endeavor. The price per unit is about $4,500,000. So that's all the time we have today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon on your way out. See you next time. Adios.